In my undergraduate career, I had a really good friend who she is one of my best friends up to this day. And she had noticed that my sleepiness was not normal, that I would fall asleep on my classes, not only in lectures, but in exams. And she would see that I would sleep constantly. And she thought that that wasn't normal. And she told me, check out a sleep specialist to maybe see if I had some type of sleep disorder. I was kind of like in denial. I was defensive with my best friend and told her that that was just part of me. I've always been like this for many years. And she told me, listen, Griselle, just take the test to find out if it isn't, okay, but what if it is a sleep disorder, you know? It, it, it doesn't hurt to find out. So it took me a while to actually go and seek a sleep specialist, but then I decided to do so. I underwent a 24-hour sleep study and was diagnosed with narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a neurological sleep disorder of the sleep and wake cycle, and it affects 200,000 Americans and 3 million people worldwide. The symptoms of narcolepsy include excessive daytime sleepiness, which is a period of extreme sleepiness, which it feels like someone who doesn't have narcolepsy hasn't slept from 48 to 72 hours. Another symptom of narcolepsy is cataplexy, which is muscle weakness that you get by strong emotions such as laughter, anger, um, stress, and it usually could be mild or severe. It could be from the um, jaw slacking, eye drooping, to the buckling of the knees or to completely collapsing to the floor. Another symptom of narcolepsy is hypnagogic and hypnopompic hallucinations, which is upon going to sleep or waking up. It could be auditory, visual, or tactile. The example that I said earlier of my mom coming into the room to wake me up and my sister was a hypnopompic hallucination. Another symptom also is sleep paralysis, in which um, you're, you're totally immobile and un unable to move. And I also experienced that with the hypnopompic hallucination. Another symptom too is disrupted nighttime sleep. A lot of people think that because you have narcolepsy, you sleep all the time and that's not necessarily um, true. When I was diagnosed in my results, I was told that I woke up 14 times at night and I didn't even know I did that. And that's one of the symptoms that people with narcolepsy can have. There are two types of narcolepsy, narcolepsy with cataplexy and narcolepsy without cataplexy. Narcolepsy with cataplexy has been found that it's a loss of hypocretin, which is a neurotransmitter that controls the sleep and wake cycle. And less is known about narcolepsy without cataplexy. To be diagnosed with narcolepsy, you have to undergo a 24-hour sleep study, which is comprised of a nighttime portion, which is called polysomnograph, and a daytime portion, which is the multiple sleep latency test. There are various treatments for narcolepsy. There's wake promoters or stimulants, which help with alertness. There's also antidepressants for cataplexy, sedatives as well. And there's also scheduled daytime naps, which could help too. So many people for medication use what their doctor say works best for them. Not everyone's the same. 